Let's get a closer look at my Lego Friends pirate ship. So we're starting with the flag on top of the mast, and then we're going to come out to the sails. These are magenta pink and white striped sails. I did custom make them. Um, the pattern is from Lego's actual sails that go with the masts that are from the 80s Lego sets, I believe. And, yeah, these sails were uh, interesting to put together. I did want them to be double-sided. So you can see here the back of the sail and the door. Hi, door! That's Martin's door. <laughs> um, so I did want them to be double-sided. So I actually took the fabric that I purchased and used um, double-sided interfacing and ironed everything together so that I could create the double-sided sails. And then I just use the Lego um, sail patterns, cut everything out, cut out the holes, which were the absolute worst part, and put the sails together. Um, and I'm very proud of the job. Putting this part together with the string was like, yeah. That was crazy, but it ended up working out in the end, so I'm happy about it. All right, let's move on to other parts of the ship. All right, so we're gonna come down from the sails and go to the front part of the ship here. Um, everything on the ship is custom except this bottom part here, just this part, and this part is from the um, Imperial flagship design. And then back here, just this right here is also from the Imperial flagship, but everything else was painstakingly custom built. Um, uh, at This was the part of the ship, the front part of the ship, just trying to make it something that I would be proud of, was the worst part. Um, this was the part that on several occasions made me want to take the entire ship, slam it to the ground, say screw it and move on to something else. But I'm glad I worked through it and I'm very happy with it now. So we've got um, some torches here at the front and we can see here on the deck we have some nice clear modern doors that lead inside into the uh, cannon area. So these both open up. And the rest of the deck I wanted to keep it you know, just nice and clear. There we go. Alright. Make it focused. Um, so the rest of the deck I wanted to keep it nice and clear. Because again, I like things modern and just sleek. And then we've got the doors that lead to the captain's um, area. And the ladder that leads up to the top here. Where I, this is the steering steering area where I am manning the steering wheel. Got a few more torches, a few more flags for fun. Let's push that bad boy down. I actually took this to the um, Philly Brick, took this to Philly Brickfest and it ended up winning a Rocky, so that was awesome. But yes, yeah, so this is the railing around here and then this is the outside of the captain's chamber. So we see we have some nice little windows in back here. This is the underside. And then we come along so it's connected right here, that's why it's a little bit off. Then we come along to the side of the ship, which is actually one of my favorite parts. <laughs> you see all the bones lining the ship? That is because me and my crew are ruthless killers, and everyone that we've killed, yeah, their bones have become part of the ship. Just to let other people know, do not mess with us, what? And then we have uh, these here, they open up and uh, the, um, the cannons poke out through them so that we can uh, destroy other ships and collect booty. Booty, <laughs> I love that word. Alright, 
So now I actually want to show you the inside. So let's get started with that. I want to show you the inside of the captain's chamber. And this really is my little retreat. So I'm going to show you how the top comes off. We're going to move me first. And then basically just take this, pop it up here. Boom! Done! Alright, so this is my sanctuary. We've got my modern bed. We've got my two side lamps. I'm going to see if I can get here at an angle. We've got my two end tables with the little side lamps. Love those little lamps. Um, I'm going to have another video that details this a little bit more for everybody and shows how I built um, a few of the things. Lots of windows because I love light. And at the end of a hard day of pillaging and killing and collecting and sailing, you know, I need a spa light retreat. All right, then we've got my little table here. Um, I'm pretty much vegan. Every now and again, I'll, you know, eat a little something naughty, but for the most part, that's how I eat. So apples, bananas, and you see there is water in my golden goblet um, because it is the uh, thing that I only drink other than maybe a fresh green juice every now and again. Not like any of you actually care, but whatever, sharing. Okay, and we've got the hardwood floor, which is my favorite type of floor, birch hardwood floor. And then, oh, I made a little fireplace, yay! I'm so proud of that fireplace. Again, that's going to be on my mini builds video, um, so I can show you um, how I put that together. And you see the key on top of the fireplace is for the treasure chest. Alright, so let's swing around here to the treasure chest. And I'm going to see if I can crack it open. <laughs> That's against the wall, but... Alright, so if we can get focused. What we see in there is the uh, heart of the ocean. That is the blue diamond. Several diamonds, because diamonds are a girl's best friend. And my two um, golden desert eagles. Because if somebody creeps into the captain's chamber when uh, they're not supposed to, yeah, they're going to get got. And those are the beauties that are going to get them. All right, so then we go over here and we see my special katana in the corner. Uh, this is actually a turquoise katana. They don't make them anymore. Um, I paid more money than I should have for it. <laughs> But I love it, and now it uh, sits beautifully in the corner of my captain's chamber. Alright, so let's move on to the uh, bottom of the ship. Before we go inside, I just want to show you how it all comes apart. Um, this by far is the hardest thing I have ever, ever custom designed and built. I can't even say that I designed it because I really build things organically. I just kind of start with the base I want and then I just work up and what works works, what doesn't I change and I just keep going like that until it feels right to me. I don't know if that's a proper way to build but that's the way I do it. And by the way I just wanted to show you my little swashbuckling clothes. <laughs> this is my sig fig and these are this is the my little pirate outfit that I chose. So say hi. She's looking through the telescope trying to see what we're gonna what we're gonna do next hi modern brick all right so let's go ahead and pull it apart so this part at the back just kind of lifts off like that comes to the side set that down uh, this middle part here so the mass is actually attached but we can take that put it to the side I'm just breaking stuff in the process. All right. <laughs> um, all right. And then this last part here just slides back, comes up, and boom, we're in. Okay, so this is what it looks like as a whole. We've got the war room on this end here. We've got the cannon area here, and we've got the treasure room here. So let's start with the war room. 
get a closer look at that. So this is the area where me, the captain, and my uh, crew will get together and plot a course, you know, figure out where we're going to go um, so we can trade, kill, do what pirates do. And we've got lots of weapons all mounted on the walls. We've got some spears, we've got a scythe, we've got shotguns, crossbow, because a crossbow is always a fun weapon to use. And then, of course, my absolute favorite weapon, katanas! Well, it's not my favorite weapon, because I do enjoy guns, but my favorite type of sword um, is a katana. And I've got golden katanas because I like luxury, y'all. And when I'm running someone through, I want it to be pretty. Because I am a lady. And uh, I gotta like that. Alright, so that is the war room. Then we will move on to the very beautiful cannon room. So we've got some uh, cannonballs there in between uh, the cannons. And the, um, the things that are holding the cannons, no, I do not know the correct terminology. I did custom build those because I'm a brat and I couldn't just use the colors that they already had. I wanted white ones <laughs> to go with the magenta and the blue. Uh, so this could really be more like a Lego Friends pirate ship as opposed to a regular pirate ship. And then, of course, you can see the uh, flower boxes here. Because, yes, even though we kill and even though we do horrible things, we still want some ambiance while we are doing these things. So there you go there. And um, again, you know, the they'll pop out of this part. I'll show that in a minute. Okay. Now let's move on to the treasure room. So before we go in... Um, I found these, went on BrickLink, and was looking for something to have outside of the door, and it's kind of cool. They're, this is like a little trade chart. So you've got the coins on one side, what you can trade for on the other, and it's um, kind of accounting related. I, I really liked it for the outside of the treasure room. So then you go into the door, and you see I have my treasure room lined in silver and gold because uh, we've, we've done some good pillaging lately. And I wanted to, to really make the room special. So I've got a couple different kinds of treasure chests because, of, you know, I go on BrickLink and I see these things and I have to have them. So we've got pearl gold, um, I believe that's metallic gold, and then the clear one, which is the one that has the gems that match the colors of the ship, which uh, I really love. And then let's see what's in each of them individually. And they're all actually, like, mounted, but... It's going to be kind of hard to open. All right. So in that one, you can see we've got just multicolored uh, gemstones, yellow, diamond, blue diamonds, that kind of thing. In the middle one here, sorry, <laughs> in the middle one here, we've got gold bars. And then in the one over here, we've just got pure diamonds. Oh, baby. So pretty. And then the middle one, you can see through it. Uh, that just has the pink and the uh, light light blue gemstones in it. So those are also just fancy little diamonds for me. All right. So again, we'll kind of show how the whole thing looks together. Try and show a top view here. I promised that I would show what the um, cannons look like sticking out. So that's it. The design isn't the best. Um, I definitely could have done a little bit more to make it sturdier so I could really open and close it easily from the outside, but that's just the colors I wanted, the design I wanted, um, I chose. <laughs> I didn't choose uh, practicality, basically, is what I'm trying to say here, but they do work. It's just not easy to make it work. But yeah, so this is what the cannons look like popping out. So, Thank you very much for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed my Lego pirate ship. Alright, have a wonderful day, everybody. Goodbye! Mm -hmm.